Hello friends. Today we will be discussing three important things. Crystal lattice, types of unit cells and the number of atoms present in unit cells. We will start with crystal lattice. Crystal lattice is a three dimensional arrangement of constituent particles of a crystalline solid. You, we have learned constituent particles can be atoms or ions or metal ions or even molecules. So we'll write the definition of crystal lattice. So crystal lattice is a three dimensional arrangement of constituent particles. Now we'll consider an example. Now we can see a white spot on the board and this white spot indicate the center of an atom. Atom is considered as a sphere. So this point actually indicate the center of that sphere or center of that atom. So we are arranging few atoms in this straight line. So this is one dimensional arrangement. Now the second layer of atoms are placed or arranged like this. And a third layer exactly aligned with the first layer, fourth layer is like this. Now this is just a two dimensional arrangement. Now we will connect these atoms to get the three dimensional structure. I'm connecting these two atoms here and here. And the third and the fourth rows. And you are getting a cubical shape. Here, we did not connect all the constant particles, just eight constant particles are connected with straight lines. Now, we can extend this, right? So, uh, how we will extend this? By connecting this atom with the nearby atoms here. So, when you do that again, you will get an, another a cube. Like this, we can connect all the constituent particles present in this example and you will get a cubical system or after connecting all these white spots with straight lines you will get the shape of a cube so you can call it as a cubic crystal system why we are calling it as a cubic crystal system when we connect all the constituent particles present in this particular compound with straight lines you are getting the a cubical shape so you are calling it as a cubic crystal system but this cubic crystal system is made up of many small cubes and these small cubes are known as unit cells okay so how many unit cells are there here here one two and then next one you can draw it here and the fourth one here like this in the entire system there will be many unit cells so what are unit cells unit cells are the smallest repeating unit of a crystal lattice. So crystal lattice is formed by joining these unit cells in three dimensional way. So we will write. So unit cell is the smallest repeating unit of a crystal lattice. The shape of the unit cells of a cubic crystal system is also a cube. Like this, there are many other crystal systems are possible, including cubic crystal system. There are total seven crystal systems. We will discuss about other crystal systems in another video. So here in this video, we will be discussing only the cubic crystal systems. Now we will see what are the different types of unit cells. Unit cells are divided into two. This primitive unit cell Primitive unit cell and centered unit cell. Primitive unit cell and centered unit cell. Primitive unit cell is also known as simple unit cell. So in primitive unit cell, atoms are present only at the corners of the unit cell. So consider a cubic unit cell. So what is a cubic unit cell? It is the unit cell present in a cubic crystal system. Now, in this primitive or simple unit cells, atoms are present only at the 
corners so atoms are present at all these eight corners now centered unit cells the centered unit cells are again subdivided into three first one is face centered face centered unit cell second one is body centered and the last one is end centered in face in face centered unit cell atoms are present at the center of all the faces along with the corners atoms are present at all the eight corners plus at the center of all the faces so this one is a cubic unit cell so just like primitive atoms are present at the corners and now there are total six faces so atoms are present at the faces center of the faces so one atom is present here and one of these at the top face one is on the left side face and one is on the bottom face and one is at the center of the back face and this is at the center of the front face now body centered in body centered arrangement atoms are present at all the corners and one atom is present exactly at the center now the last one is n centered unit cell in n centered unit cells along with the corners atoms are present at the two opposite faces so it can be one at the top and one at the bottom or one on the right face and the left face so any of the two opposite faces have one atoms each so one atom are here at the top face at the center of the top face and here at the bottom face so this one is n centered so the unit cells are of four types mainly or the broad classification is to primitive and centered unit cell and the, in the primitive atoms are present only at the corners and centered unit cells are of three types and in face centered along with the corners atoms are present at the center of all the faces and in body centered along with the corners one atom is present exactly at the center and in n centered along with the corners atoms are present at the center of two opposite faces now we will calculate the number of atoms present in these unit cells like primitive face centered and body centered unit cells number of atoms present in a primitive unit cell now we will consider a primitive unit cell in primitive unit cells atoms are present at the corners of the unit cell so here in this unit cell atoms are present at all the corners but for the explanation we consider only one corner here we can see that from the uh, picture it is clear that that full atom is not present in the unit cell so we will see how much fraction of that atom is present in the in this particular unit cell so atom is considered as a sphere so you can see that half of this atom is present above the plane of this unit cell so only the lower half of the atom is present in this unit cell so consider this is the lower half of this atom and this is the corner this is the corner of our unit cell so from this picture it is clear that only one by fourth one by fourth of this hemisphere is present in this unit cell so the the hemisphere the, this, this indicate half of an atom right half atom it is so this half atom is shared between four unit cells in the same way the other half also is shared between four other unit cells so total one atom present at the corner is shared between eight different unit cells so though we say that atoms are present at the corners of the unit cell from one corner only 1 by 8 of an atom is actually belongs to a particular unit cell so the total number of atoms present in in a primitive unit cell will be 
1 by 8 into 8. Primitive ion epsilon is equal to 1 by 8 into 8. So here 1 by 8 indicate the fraction of an atom present in one unit cell from one corner and there are total eight corners so all together there is only one atom in a primitive unit cell now we will see a body center unit cell in body center unit cell one atom is present exactly at the center of the unit cell along with the corners the atom present at the center of the unit cell is not shared between any other unit cells so that full atom belongs to that particular unit cell in order to calculate the total number of atoms present in the body centered unit cell we need to consider the atoms present from the corners and the body center so number of atoms from the corners corners is 1 by 8 1 by 8 into 8 is equal to 1 then number of atoms from the center or body center is equal to 1 so total number of atoms total number of atoms is equal to 2 now we will see the phase centered in phase centered unit cells atoms are present at the corners and at the center of all the faces so one atom here second one third one fourth fifth and sixth there are total six faces so from corner from one corner only one by eighth of an atom belongs to this unit cell what about the atom present at the face you know that one face is shared between two unit cells so if you keep a a sphere at that phase then that will be equally divided into a two unit cells from one phase half of an atom will be present in this particular unit cell so we will see how many atoms are present here total number of atoms from corners 1 by 8 into 8 is equal to 1 number of atoms from faces is equal to 1 by 2 into 6 what is this 1 by 2 half of an atom from one phase belongs to this unit cell and what is 6 6 indicate 6 phases so half from each phase so total 3 atoms therefore total number of atoms is equal to a 4 so we have seen the number of atoms present in primitive body centered and phase centered so in primitive there is only one atom body centered there are two atoms and in phase centered there are four atoms so in this video we have covered crystal lattice unit cells type of unit cells and the number of atoms present in uh, this unit cell. so 3d arrangement of constituent particles is known as a crystal lattice then we have seen cubic crystal lattice and the unit cell and the types of unit cells primitive face centered body centered and end centered then we have calculated the number of atoms present in uh, these different unit cells hope you uh, got the points thank you